there are two methods for constructing a building or a structure they are load bearing structure and rcc frame structure in this video let us see the difference between load bearing structure and rcc frame structure load bearing structure rcc frame structure basically in case of load bearing structure the entire building load is taken by the wall and then transferred to the footing or foundation it is also called as wall bearing structure whereas in case of rcc frame structure the entire building load is taken by the beam and columns and then transferred to the footing or foundation hence frame structure is also called as column beam structure next in load bearing structure beams and columns are not constructed only wall is constructed and almost all the walls are load bearing walls in frame structure along with the beams and columns walls also constructed after the beam column frame is constructed and all the constructed walls are partition walls or screen walls none of the wall is load bearing wall next if we see load transfer mechanism in case of load bearing structure the entire load of the building acts on the wall then from the walls the load transfer to footing or foundation directly in case of rcc frame structure the load transfer from the slab to the beam and to, from the beam to the column and from the column to the footing or foundation in frame structure walls do not carry any type of load next load bearing structure are rarely used form of construction it is a old type of construction and rcc frame structure is mostly used form of construction nowadays almost all type of construction is rcc framed structures next if we see the thickness of the wall the thickness of load bearing walls increases with increase in height and in no case the wall thickness should not be less than 200 mm in case of load bearing walls and wall thickness in frame structure will remain same with increase in height and the wall thickness of 100 mm can also be used next load bearing structures are constructed of bricks or stones so more materials are required for the construction but in the same time less cement and steel is required since more material is required self weight of the member increases in case of load bearing structures and rcc frame structures are constructed of rcc that is reinforced cement concrete so less materials are required but it consumes more cement and steel than load bearing structures next a load bearing wall once constructed shall remain in same position the position of walls cannot be changed there is no flexibility in planning and designing in load bearing structures and the walls of frame structure can be changed at any place whenever it is necessary there is a flexibility in planning and designing next in load bearing structure all the load bearing walls are taken deep into subsoil and almost all the walls are provided with footing or foundation so more excavation is needed in frame structure only columns are taken deep into the subsoil and are provided with footing or foundation all the walls rest on a plinth beam and not provided with footing or foundation so less excavation is needed next for constructing load bearing structure the soil of good bearing capacity like rock gravel soil sandy soil with hard stratum etc is required and rcc frame structure can be constructed on any type of soil even in case of soil with poor bearing capacity the pile may be driven until hard stratum is reached in case of rcc frame structure next too many openings like doors windows ventilators etc are not permissible in load bearing structures and there is no such restrictions in framed structures construction of load bearing structures are slow and time consuming whereas framed structures can be constructed fast next if we need to provide cantilever projection in a building it is difficult in case of load bearing structure and also permitted up to short span only and in case of rcc frame structure the cantilever projection can be easily provided next all load bearing walls are thicker walls hence less floor area is available for use and in case of rcc frame structures the walls are thinner walls hence more floor area is available for use next large span area is not possible to construct in case of load bearing structures and large span area is possible to construct in case of rcc frame structures next height of the load bearing structure is limited so load bearing structures are best suited for small residential houses up to 2 or 3 stories 
in rcc frame structure no restriction on height so best suit for multi storied and high rised buildings etc next more number of labors are required both skilled labors and unskilled labors can construct load bearing structure in case of rcc frame structures less number of labors as well as skilled labors are required to construct rcc frame building next load bearing structures are economical up to two story only even foundation also cost more in case of load bearing structures in rcc frame structures these are economical for multi story buildings and no much increase in cost with increase in depth of footing next load bearing structures are poor in resisting earthquake forces it cannot take earthquake load so load bearing structures are not preferred to construct in a earthquake prone areas whereas rcc frame structures are good in resisting earthquake forces so it can be constructed in earthquake prone areas also next the life of load bearing structure is less which is affected with technique of work and the life of frame structure is good but the life of frame structure can be reduced if not done properly these are the few differences between load bearing structure and rcc frame structure if you have any doubt or any suggestions let me know in comment section please like share and subscribe to civil today thank you for watching see you on the next video